You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. I'm Mike Morales here holding the clapper. <laughs> Mr. Tonight, clapper. Mr. Clapper. Because tonight we've got, can you read that? Milagro. Oh, we're back with Milagro. But we're back, Alex, with the single barrel. Mm. Look at look at the, just, can you guys get, can we get closer? To That's this? a beauty. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at the. Well, I haven't taken mine out of my little box. Uh, no, of course not, because I have. But look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful it's bottle. Hand blown. Look at that! It's it's. This is this is the actual. That's that's the nice. actual hole, ladies and gentlemen, right there. That's the actual hole where. That's they the blew, hole. That's the hole where they blew the agave. Well, that's right. Check it out. My finger's in there. Yeah, it, you're giving everybody the finger, man. No, no, that's my, that's my, my index <laughs> it's finger. It's your index <laughs> finger. Oh, man. But you're right. Check it out. That is gorgeous. And, of course, they're, they're, uh, they're, uh, the batch, see, you get numbered bottles. Wow, beautiful. And I just saw bubbles in your bottle, Alex. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, I saw the – look at look at the bubbles. Check it out. Mike um, loves bubbles. Now, this is – if you've watched us do Milagro, we, we nominated them for Brand of Promise in the legacy category for their core line. And this is, of course, the, the more high-end line. This is what they call the single barrel reserve, right? Yep, barrel reserve silver. Milagro Select. That's that's what the... Yeah, because um, the one we had was the Leyenda. Yeah, we this had Leyenda, Leyenda to begin with. And this is the, the much oh, higher silver. version. Now, Alex... Uh, uh, oh my God! Like barrel that's reserve. Just, yeah. Look at that! Oh God, that's just <laughs> that's beautiful. I love bubbles. Oh my God! Look, real cork. Beautiful. See? Look at that. Real cork, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful bottle. Yeah, they they uh, if you've if you've not read our article on uh, uh, the miracle men behind Milagro, go to our website. Run the search on the on the. Oh, mine's got something broken. Mine's got something broken inside. Oh, don't say that, Alex. Don't say that. Don't say. I, I hear clinking I think, and clanging. Why? I think one of the bankas is broken. You broke a banka. Well, hear it? Yeah. As long as it doesn't get into your tequila, I think you should be okay. <laughs> it's on the inside. If, if, if Alex um. If Alex turns a different color blue, um, and it ain't blue agave, you'll you'll know why. Ooh. Wow. Now I'm going to be using. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I should fish it out. Do you? Ha well, I think you should pour it first to make sure it doesn't get in your in, in your glass, and it might be easier to fish it out that way. Um, yeah, I, th I think you should be fine. It's probably, it's probably still in there. If it's a little crunchy on the on the on the back end, you'll know why. A little crunchy on the back end. I'm, I'm using my Glencairn Copita glass, and this is just a pristine color, Alex. It's just a, a a beautiful. It's a platinum. Yeah. Blanco. I mean, this is this Brilliant. is just. Mmm. Very clean nose. Yeah. A lot it's, of agave. A it's very it's still agave. it's still reminiscent of the of the of the Leyenda line. Yeah. Nice. It's just agave all the way through. Very agave. Very, very agave. Agave uh, in your face. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Oh wow, it's sweet. Wow. It's sweet, it's spicy. Mm-hmm. It has that Leyenda finish still. I mean it's it's interesting that it doesn't lose that, that same core characteristic. Oh wow, it's very good. And it's not it's not a soft tequila. You know, it, it's got this gentle look to it, very elegant, very beautiful. You know, the Milagro for a long time was known for its bottles. 
Some of you collectors out there may have had the Milagro Romance, Romance uh, line where it was, uh, remember Alex, it was a huge bottle with oh, yeah. the three layers of, of Milagro and, and separate spouts. I've seen that. It's, uh, they still have that out there. Well, I, I guess it's been discontinued, and, and this is what they did with it. They, 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 changed the, they tweaked the flavor profile and, and made them separate as opposed to one huge bottle. Um, now, this one's unique. Can you smell the vanilla in there? Yeah, this is... Um, yeah, right I do. Top. I do, but but on that, that it's at the top, and and it's um. I I was right really top. impressed that it was so sweet on the on the on the intake. I didn't. No, this is this sweetness. is this is this has been put in wood. Is that is this so? This is like a blanco suave. Is that what they're saying yeah. on the? Okay, select barrel reserve. Well, they're calling silver. it. They're just calling it a silver. Okay, uh, unlike most tequilas, it is then mellowed in, in both American and French oak barrels for 30 days, resulting in a fine sipping tequila that is perfectly balanced and full-bodied. Mm. Okay, and I think the, the law says you have to pull it out of the barrels before, before 45 days, or you have to call it a ripple, I think. Right. So that's what they've done. and they've, they, So this is wow. even a blend, Alex. This is a. Uh, they're not telling us that, but I would imagine that that's what they're doing. Is that they're taking what's rested in an American oak barrel and in a French oak barrel, uh, and blending it. And God, kind of I'm wondering if they're. That French... explains the sweetness. That because that sweetness comes from the French oak. Oh yeah. But Al, wonder, you know, Alex, there's, that... there's no tinge. Yeah, and I'm wondering if I'm wondering if they filter it. I don't I don't know because uh, even even Herradura at its height when it had the Blanco Suave. Where they they aged it in barrels and it had a, a like a yellowish a straw tinge to right. it, um, but they're not telling us if if they are or not, uh, if it's if the color is being uh, stripped out or redistilled, I I wouldn't think so, um, but probably. Either way, I think it's genius. I think it's genius. Well, it could be that there's no char in the um, in the barrels. There are new barrels. It's when you yeah. char, you toast them, where you'd get um, the color. But even in a virgin barrel, Alex, you would get something. True. Very nice. Mm. Beautiful sipping tequila. I love, I love the fact that the the French oak is what's giving it the sweetness. I, I. I I'm telling you, this is this is um. Wow. This is genius. This is wow. This is wow. I did not expect that. I, <laughs> this I, is wow. Is wow. This is wow. They should win the is wow award. Is wow. Is wow. No. So it's not crunchy on the tail end, Alex. <laughs> no, not crunchy. <laughs> no crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very, very you know, when good. you get a chance, I, when you re-pour this out, when, you know, one more time, I, I would use like a coffee filter or cheesecloth or something to, <laughs> so that, you know, you don't get the little crystals. Not a coffee filter. I'm going to use a, a fine mesh, uh, one of my cocktail filters. Yeah, yeah, or, or uh, you you know. That way I don't change the taste on you, the. You can even use a, a whatever, just anything with a screen, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that it'll catch all that all that residue. That's too bad, man. This is such a beautiful, you know it what, is. Alex? Brand of promise on the packaging for sure. I mean, brand of promise packaging. Um, this this is a legacy. It'd have to be a legacy. Yeah, it would have to be a legacy uh, in the legacy category, the high end legacy category. Yeah, this is, this just, is a barrel reserve. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful tequila. Wow. It, it crisp, fresh agave forward nose. It it really delivers everything. Everything that the notes tell you on the website, it's yeah. exactly what it is. Nice. And my surprise was that I hadn't read everything that 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 it was. It, it's a blend in two barrels, two different barrels, and then pulled out uh, after 30 days. Beautiful. Where's the banker? I don't know, man. I hear it, but I don't see it. Cool. Beautiful <laughs> bottle. 
Too bad, Alex. We're thinking I don't see any broken bankas. It must be, an, maybe, must be an extra banka. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe you're just hearing things. I, I don't know. Uh, I love this packaging. I even like the the cage it comes in. Look at look at the the box that it comes in. This is this is just super cool the way this works. And then, oh, yeah. and then you got the lid that goes with it, right? It seals the 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 bottle. And nice display too. See, so you don't you can display your tequila without hiding it. Oh, there it is, Mike. I did see you, it. Mike, did you see it? I don't know if you can see it. See, I can't. I can't tell. No. It's going across there. Oh, 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 oh! I see it. I see it. Which is fine. Boy, it's stuck. That yeah, it's stuck. But you know what? That's okay. As long as as it's long as I'm not doing drinking like yeah, this. Yeah, and it, and and you're not shaking up your bottle. You should be okay. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Beautiful work on Milagro Barrel Reserve Silver. Brand of Promise nominee. Beautiful. Legacy category for uh, for packaging and, and of course, for the high-end version. This is just a beautiful tequila. Legacy. Legacy award. I, beautiful. That Blanco. And, you know, honestly, it's probably going to cost a little bit to, to, to find these bottles because you're paying, you know, the packaging in the bottle and all that. It'd be worth it not to. This is really sipping tequila. Yeah. It it could you mix it? Sure. Would would you, would I do it? No. no. No, you don't want to sip it. You want to enjoy it. You know, it'd be a great gift too. It's a, it's, it's a nice gift. Yes. It's such a good looking bottle. It's a type of bottle that you'll 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 finish it and you want to keep it. Yeah. Well, I think that was the the whole the whole idea, you know, with with uh, with what Malaga was was planning on doing. And again. Check out the article, uh, The Miracle Men Behind Milagro Tequila, on our website at tequilaaficionado.com. You can see also our, our re first reviews of the Milagro Leyenda. Thank you to the Milagro folks for, for taking us into consideration. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. You've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. Thanks for watching. Please sign up. And as always, sip wisely. <laughs>